let's have a look at how to draw an electrochemical cell. To do this, we need to draw a few things. First of all, we need to indicate the anode and the cathode. We also need to indicate the positive and the negative electrodes. We need to choose an appropriate salt bridge. We also need to write the appropriate half reactions at the correct electrode. And then we need to balance those half reactions into a full redox reaction. We also need to label correctly the electron flow in the electrochemical cell. And then finally we need to label the anions and the cations that are flowing through in our salt bridge. So let's take a reaction. We've got nickel in a nickel solution in one half, one half cell. We've also got silver and or silver ions containing a silver electrode. Let's look at this bottom section first. What does it all mean? On the left hand side, on the left of the double lines, doubling, double lines indicate that we've got a separation of cells. We have our anode, which is our nickel electrode, contained in a solution, so an electrolyte that contains nickel ions. This part will form our oxidation half cell. We go from nickel to nickel 2 plus. On the right hand side of our double line break here, the other cell, we've got silver in solution, so we've got an electrolyte containing silver ions, and then we've got our cathode, which is our silver solid. So this is our reduction half cell. So given this set of information, how do we go about drawing a correct electro electrochemical cell? The first thing we need to do is draw our two cells. So we have one on the left, and by convention we make that the anode, or the oxidation part of the electrochemical reaction. On the right hand side we draw our cathode, or our reduction electrode. Our first step was to write down which our anodes and our cathodes were. So by convention we put our anode on the left hand side, so that will be the negative electrode. In this case, we're going to go from nickel to nickel 2 plus, so we're going to give up electrons. This is our source of electrons, it's the negative electrode. On the other hand, we're going to have silver in solution, and that's going to deposit on our silver electrode, so the silver ions in solution are going to be reduced to silver solid. So that's our cathode, and that's our positive electrode. So that's step number one completed. We're then asked for an appropriate salt bridge. So in this case, we're going to choose something like sodium nitrate, because neither the sodium nor the nitrate will take, play, take part in the reaction. So we indicate our salt bridge by this inverted U, and we just put our sodium nitrate onto our diagram. Step number three says we need to write down our two half reactions. So on the left hand side, at our anode, we're going to get nickel solid going to nickel 2 plus. So our nickel solid going to nickel 2 plus is going to give up two electrons. Our reduction reaction is going to be silver in solution, coming out of solution and being reduced to give us silver solid. So we're getting silver plus one, or sorry, silver ion plus one electron will give us silver solid. So step number three is complete. Step number four says that we need to have a fully balanced redox reaction for our completed electrochemical cell. So we take our nickel component, or our nickel half reaction, and our silver half reaction, and we have to balance for the number of electrons. So we see on the left hand side we've got two electrons, one on the right hand side, so we need to multiply everything through here by 2. So our completed redox reaction will be one lot of nickel solid plus two lots of silver ions gives us one lot of nickel 2 plus plus two lots of silver solid. We then need to label the direction of our electron flow. And we know that at, at our anode we're going to produce electrons. So our negative electrode is at our anode, 
And that because that's the production of electrons, those electrons are going to flow through in our external circuit to our silver electrode where they will pick up silver ions. So the flow goes from the anode always to the cathode. And the last step is to write down our flow of ions or our anions and cations in solution. So if we keep collecting electrons onto this side, eventually we're going to get an imbalance of electrons in the system. So we need to balance that charge across both half cells and we do so by having our salt bridge and having it allow, or sorry, allowing it being a permeable bridge so that we can have sulfate ions travelling through the system from this direction to balance out the positive charge here and we will have our nickel travelling through the system to balance out our negative charges on this side. So we've indicated here that the nickel 2 plus will travel from the anode to the cathode and our sulphate will travel from the cathode through to the anode.